What you're looking at right now is my survival world. This is a windmill that I built on one of my lives. Hello, my name is Flocka, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to create this thing right here. Not only the windmill, but how to do a little bit of wiring to make sure that you can have a remote control system that doesn't look too janky. All right, let's hop into the video. And if you like it, make sure you like it. Showing you guys the proof in the pudding. Here's the control system that I put together in creative. It's hidden in the ground here and there's nothing that you can see connecting these two pieces. But if we hop in the seat, you'll notice we're able to control the wheels, spin them and turn them. That is what we're gonna be controlling our windmill with today, folks. So we're gonna show you how to build that. You're gonna wanna start off with any 16 by 16 piece. I suggest wood, it's the easiest thing to grab and you're gonna nudge it into the side of the hill and then you're gonna add a piece on the outside so that you can see where that line is started just in case you get lost here. You're then gonna keep it uh, snapped up on the edge of each piece and go until you see that green dot show up in front of your face and you're gonna snap it in and you're just gonna walk down the line and keep doing that until you're at your desired distance. Now, at a certain distance, things start to disappear and you can't really see things. So make sure that you're close enough. I know that you'd wanna put it a uh, far ways away to make sure that you get like cool angles and stuff and, and get some awesome pictures. But unfortunately, with how the world works, it's just not able to be that far away. But still, you're gonna be able to zoom out enough to be able to see the windmill spin and not have to be on it or on the platform. So after you've gone your desired distance, you're gonna just start placing some of these pillars underneath. You're gonna also snap them onto the floor and you want to snap them until uh, you're able to snap one on to the pillars underneath. And you'll know when this happens because it won't be the same height as the other ones that are lighting up green. You're going to watch me try and you're going to watch me fail a couple times. But I just keep snapping until I find the spot that it pokes up. And then we go in and we try and test it out because we need to make sure that it's actually connected in one line because sometimes it can get a little weird and you can actually somehow end up disconnecting from the whole line on while you're on your way uh, building over here. So you wanna make sure that uh, this is actually gonna work and the way that you're gonna do that is by going back to that platform that you initially built, placing a pillar so that you can put some tires on and see if the test works. So we're gonna go up two pillars high here uh, just to make sure that there's enough height. And I'm gonna throw a uh, few of these steerable wheels on so that we're able to see if it's spinning and turning. Once you're back, you're gonna put the steering wheel down, you're gonna sit down and you're gonna test it out. You're gonna turn the wheels and see if it works. And if it does, you're ready to start construction on your windmill. Going back to where the wheels are placed, you're going to snap a foundation on to the original floor piece, and then you're gonna destroy what you originally built. Now, once you do this, you're gonna wanna snap a foundation on to the first foundation you place. This is gonna connect it on to the original system that was built. You can then go ahead and finish filling in the rest of the windmill foundation which is going to be a three by three of these 16 by 16 foundations and you're going to want to go in and fill this in like the underneath and add some detail but you can wait to do that till the end you're going to want to also test to make sure that it's still working if you don't do this you're going to risk building your windmill and finding out that it's not even connected so you're going to go put a thruster on you're going to activate the thruster hop off the seat run all the way back as fast as you can and if it works you should be able to just go ahead and start working on your windmill now to get that started we're going to take the four by four and we're going to build two of these on the edge corner to corner so that we can find where we need to start our center and we're going to go too high there now we're going to take that same four by four piece and we're going to build a cross or a plus sign all the way around and we're gonna go ahead and build four of those 
To build the structure of the windmill, you're gonna take any type of like corner or half wall pillar piece and you're gonna notch it up to one pip over each single piece that you place uh, so that it creates this sort of pyramid-like structure uh, that you see forming um, as you start to pile up these pieces. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and show the rest of this. Uh, normally, I would skip over, but I wanna show you how I do this uh, in like from a survival standpoint because I know some of the angles can be kind of weird it can be kind of weird uh, hard to notch some of these pieces I just want to make sure that you guys see that it can be built all from the ground um, here to, just to get the structure up once you get the structure though uh, then you're gonna need to start building stairs you're gonna have to build support uh, structures uh, to help you build the mechanism on top but that's getting way ahead of ourselves for now let's just finish out the structure here and get the rest of this built Once at desired height, which I suggest you make it pretty skinny um, at the top, it doesn't matter how high it is as long as it's skinny so that the blades don't hit. Um, you're gonna take your four by four floor and you're gonna make it look like a U facing open towards the where the uh, windmill is gonna be facing. And then you're gonna take the 12 by two and put six of them uh, piece by piece on the back end and then put another floor on the back. Uh, that's gonna be used as a sort of way to make the actual blade. So take the 16 by two now and notch this a little bit over the opening that was previously built. And we're gonna put these side by side so um, that they cover the hole like this. And there will be about two or three, maybe four uh, notches of space. It doesn't really have to be exact as what I'm making, just as long as there's some sort of support here. Um, and then you're gonna wanna put a ridge in the middle. I haven't done it yet, but you're gonna want to add a ridge. Um, but go ahead and grab the small simple wheel and notch it up in the middle of the opening that we place in the front. And then take a noble corner and we're gonna put it straight up on the front corner uh, as close as you can get it uh, to the front and to the wheel. Uh, and we're gonna place two of those like that. Those are gonna be holding our wheels that are gonna hold the blade in place. And like I said earlier, we're gonna add this ridge to the middle here so that uh, it can land nicely within the area and also be held within a certain area by the wheels so that the wheels can, get, uh, can catch the blade properly. Now you're gonna put two more of these corners or these half walls, whatever you wanna call them, and you can put them five or six pips back from the first uh, wall pieces that you put. And then you're gonna put your large powered wheels on these. So you're gonna line it up so that there's um, two pips of space between them like you see here. And then go ahead and add an extra piece of room for yourself to stand on. And then add a couple of uh, floor pieces for the dynamic foundations to stand on. That way it is high enough for you to be able to push. And we're gonna go ahead and add the only rounded pole piece that you have in the game, the log pillar two. And you're gonna put that in the middle of that foundation. Stack it too high and this is where we're gonna make our blade out of. Now, this is where you can do whatever you want. To be honest, you can do whatever you want, wherever you want, as long as you have the skill and you can still make it work. Uh, feel free to change whatever you want about this build. And to be honest, if you wanna show me, join the Discord. I'll put the link down in the description. And uh, I, lo I love seeing everybody else's inspiration or I like getting inspiration from other people and I like inspiring. So, uh, and we have a great community of players that love to play this game. But back to the blade here, we're gonna take an eight by two on the other side. Um, and I went with a six by two to cap that side off, but I think uh, I would put an eight by two as well on this side. Um, because when I ended up spinning the blades at the end, it looked a little uneven. Now I take the six by two here and I notch them up on to the edges of the blades because I wanna add a little bit more oomph to these blades. They're kind of bland. 
I could go ahead and try to maybe build like a diagonal blade as well. Um, if you guys want to do that, that's totally fine. I'm just going to show how to make a simple windmill as simple as it can be while having a functional blade here. So I take the six by two and I push it all the way off until it's red and then I pull it back three on each blade. And you're going to go ahead and do this all the way around. Once you've done that, you're gonna step off to the back platform that you place and push the dynamic foundation over. It should fall between those wheels perfectly. And if you put that middle piece, that middle ridge in, like I told you to, it should line up perfectly or pretty decently with the middle of those powered wheels so that it's gonna get some pretty good traction and spin the windmill at a really good speed. So. Now you're gonna to wanna to build some stuff off the edge here so that you can get around here and add these pieces. You'll see we go with the four by four floor and you're gonna to wanna to nudge it until it becomes green and then go up three spots and so that you don't notch the blade in place and it becomes part of the actual structure. Um, that'll get rid of the spinning ability of this entire thing and you don't wanna do that. So. Make sure that you're nudging it up at least three spaces. I found that that works every time. Then we're gonna wanna take a simple wheel, the small one, and you're gonna wanna get it right underneath as close as you can get it so that it pushes up on the blade like this and it'll push it out of place. You're then gonna wanna take a simple wheel and place another one, same thing, as close as you can get it to the blade and you're gonna notch that in here. Now, you're gonna have to maybe push the blade a little bit. Um, push it around to uh, get these ones in but what you want to do is then take the large simple wheel and you're gonna place it one pip or one notch off the side of each post and like I said you might have to push the blade over here and there in order to get it to be able to go in uh, or get the first wheel in um, but once you get the first one in you just push it over all the way up flush against that wheel And then you can place the second one in and you'll be fine So that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. Just follow me exactly make sure that you go as far down as you can um, it, And so that it's flush like the middle of the wheel is making contact with the rod You want to make sure that these wheels are actually touching because if they're not you're not gonna have a spinning blade and the important part about having these wheels touching is holding it in place while also being able to keep that ability to have a smooth spin because let's be real that's the most important part of the windmill is that it can spin and we don't want it to uh we don't want it to just sit there that's just that just doesn't bring any life to our builds we already have a silo we already have a barn and the animals are the only other moving object so we want to make sure that the blade's spinning so on that note you're going to put in those tires you're going to take another half wall and you're going to go as close as you can to those powered wheels in the back and you're going to go one notch out from the previous four half walls that you placed in the front um, that way you could fit one of these six by two floors. You're gonna do that three uh, notch rule so that you don't destroy the blade and you'll know if it does, if the tire explodes off the back. You're gonna stack a second one on top and then you're gonna really nudge this wheel up into a corner here. You're gonna push it up as close as you can and you're gonna do the same thing on the other side and then you're gonna do the same thing on the top. Now this, is going to lock the blade in. You're gonna have it locked in in the back, and you're gonna have it locked in in the front. You only need two powered wheels. If you want, you can maybe try to add one of these wheels being a powered wheel to get it to spin a little bit faster, but I promise once you see the speed of this thing, you're gonna, you're gonna be fine with it. It looks very farm-like, so. Go ahead and destroy the stuff off the back. You'll notice it drops down a little bit and it's hanging off the edge. So go ahead and get rid of the small simple wheel and I promise it'll be okay. Just attach a floor down and put the wheel back on and it should push itself back up to where it's supposed to be. And once you do this, you can just go ahead and get rid of any litter that you have laying around and we'll give this thing a test. So I had to build it a little closer because like I said, it renders out of distance if you go too far away. But when I gave it a test, 
this is what we got and look at the speed of the blade it looks amazing you could probably make it larger if you wanted to but if you make it too large you are risking the blades hitting the tower it all depends on how you build the structure of the tower as well i went ahead and added some lights onto it so that it shines at night and i added one of these to my mega farm on my survival world which I'm excited to debut, but we still have one more build video to give to you guys. So make sure you sub to the channel. Please, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And guys, I'll see you in the next one.